and welcome to episode 21 of the Everton Football Manager Show here on Football Manager 2016. So today is the first game and the first episode of season 3 with Everton here on Football Manager. Um, so it's been fairly busy, I wouldn't say it's been too busy of a transfer window. We play the first game of the season, but first let's go through the most important thing, which is the transfers. Um, you, I suppose you'd say it's been busy, I spent 87 million. But this is kind of, for me, just an average window. I wouldn't say a lot's happened that I'd be really noteworthy. There is one thing, but we'll come to that. Um, as for loan players, Pavon, you won't know who he is. I'll show you him in a minute. Uh, Felix Holmeyer has gone out for another year. Ledson, if I'm hoping to get more players out. Loan players to leave the club. Matt Pannington left in a permanent deal. So did Joel Robles. So did Rodriguez. Um, most notably, one of the most notable players is Leighton Baines. Um, 32 years of age. Um... I felt he had to go. Um, for some reason, I already agreed to deal for George. Um, as I'll show you in a minute, you all know who George is, though. And then I thought, damn, we might need the homegrown player. And I went for Jake Bidwell, and I thought they'd be a much better combination and younger combination than having Leighton. So Leighton's been a sad miss out on that case. Um, Tom Cleverley left. I mean, I didn't really like him. Um, Tarasharge. Didn't play for me at all. Played in two loan spells and I wasn't convinced, so I let him go. Um, Julian Vergal left to Schalke for just under £15 million. Um, he was okay last season. Actually, he was quite good, but I don't know. I just... I, f I felt like... I, we, we, I felt like we could do better without him. Um, I felt like the midfielder that I wanted to bring in um, was a real development. It was a forward-thinking move, um, as I'll show you in a minute. And the final out, the biggest one was actually Brendan Galloway, probably the one that I'm most saddest about actually. Um I regretted this one. Um he would have stayed and I would let Leighton Baines go, but he we said to Man City just twenty million and they said bang, yeah, we'll take him. Um so he's gone. Um Yeah, he was alright. Um but like I said, I like the left back combination we've got now. I think it's better. Um so I'll explain all these signs as I go through. So Lewis Cook's come in from Leeds United. Um He's the Tom Cleverley replacement. Um, I had quite a bit of money to start the summer. I didn't know what to do with it. And um, in all honesty, Lewis Cook was the kind of a player I wanted to bring to the club. Good young English midfielder. And he's a perfect replacement for Tom Cleverley, so I'm delighted with that deal. Next up is Adam Davies. Now, I'm, I don't know if you've seen him before. You probably won't, you won't, it won't be much reason. You think, why did you sign him to replace Joe Robles? One reason. He counts as a homegrown player for Everton in the Champions League. That's crucial to have one of these players. Joe Robles didn't. So it's easy to register him and also Joe Robles. So he's a good player to have for that reason. Um, next up, you already knew about the deal. This is Herving Lozano joining on a free transfer. What a signing. This guy will be our first choice left wing ahead of Dimitri Payet this year. I'm very excited. I think he's a very good little player and um, will be really good. So I think he'll score goals. I think he's that kind of player. Delighted to have him. Uh, the next signing was George, as previously mentioned. Very good left back, currently injured. Very good though. Very pleased to have him. And I think he's a more of a development on Baines. Not so good defensively and mentally like Baines was, but I'll take the hit. You know, he's 10 years younger, so I'll take my chances. Um, as mentioned as well, Jake Bidwell, um, £5 million. Yes, yeah, a bit much, not going to lie. I'd prefer to pay less for him, but in my aspect, the way I looked at it, he counts as a player trained at Everton, another one for the Champions League. You see, I'll think this through. And um, we don't need a really good backup. He'll do. Solid. Um, then I brought in a couple of regens before I thought the last signing, as you'll see. So I'll take these quickly. He's average. Um, he's average. The one I really like is the one in the middle. The dream last month. I think he's so good at 17. He could be a future centre half. I love the 20 aggression. I love the determination. You know, good. He's good at a limited defender. For me, he could be the real deal. Um, so I'm excited to see how he can progress in younger football for us. Um, I will show you the last signing in a minute, but <laughs> this signing first, and this is Cassini, who's a free agent, and I just thought for a free player, why not? He's a wonder kid in the game. Um, if we don't like him, we'll sell him, but those stats, he could become one of our players in the future. He looks really good, so... Who's that? Right, I had about 40 million sitting in the bank 
and I thought, who should I buy? Um, as I told you, it wasn't very eventful, but this made it eventful. Um, I thought I wanted a centre midfielder, and to be fair, at the start of the window, I tried to sign this boy. Benfica said they wanted £65 million pounds as his release clause. I mean, we weren't going near it. And then I just bid his valuation. I think his valuation was 27 and a half. Um, and they began to negotiate. And we negotiated to 43 million, but it's all up front. There's none in add-ons. It's just 43 million pounds. Um, and he's in. Renato Sanchez. Um, I'm delighted to have him. Never had him before in FM. Um, I'm hoping he will be the real deal. I think he will. I'm not worried about him at all. And um, what a player. I'm really looking forward to having him in our midfield for today's game. So he was the last transfer. Um, pre-season was just pre-season. I'm not going to show you it because it's boring. Um, so Jake Bidwell will actually make a debut today. <laughs> Very surprisingly. Uh, so we'll go with that. So the team for today's game, we have got a couple of injuries. I don't know if you knew about the team's one. He got injured, I think, just at the end of the last season. He was out for like six months with a torn calf. So I think he's already done two or three with it. He's done six weeks. So it's about th three, four months, five months. Um, yeah, not good. Not good. <laughs> That's why we had, to look at, in my opinion, a midfielder. George, as I said, was out. He was out, I think, maybe when he came to the club, I'm not sure. Um, Richarlie Bazoo has just got injured for six weeks. Fantastic news that was. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. But the team for today's game will go Timo Horn, Coleman, Schuler, Zuma, Bidwell, Maya, Renato Sanchez, Barkley, Morales, Luzano, Lukaku, Davis, Chambers, Rocco, Cook, Payet, Sisto, and Embolo. Let's go. Let's hope. Lozano is lacking a bit of match fitness because obviously he's not been fit for preseason because he's been injured. So I like their strike force of John Gadetti and Zach Clough. Um, I had Zach Clough. I think I've got a surprise. Um, it's not a surprise I'm going to tell you about it now. But I think at the end of this season, I'm going to show you my offline saves. Um, I've got three that I think are worth noting. Um, there's one that I'm really impressed with, which is my Gibraltar save. Um, inspired by Work the Space, I did a save, um, not with a custom team, I just got a team in the game, and that was Europa Point. And um, we have won the Champions League. I love that save to bits. Um, so that's my favourite save. And now I've got two Premier League saves. One with Man United, my favourite team. And the other one was with Derby County. And with Derby County, Zach Clough is a legend. He's not with us anymore. But when he was with us, he was so good. Um, Derby's basically a save that I did just to buy regens. And as you'll see, I, forgot, I think I've got a team of regens plus Charlie Taylor. Question mark. I think he's the only one left. So, Yeah. This has been a really eventful first half. <laughs> There's literally been no highlights. What a game. Not the plan I had in mind. They look fired up good. <laughs> Good kick off, Lukaku and Sanchez. Um, I don't know what the targets are for this season. Um, I've been thinking about this all pre-season. I think the target for me really is to get into the top four again. Um, I'm not really bothered about a Champions League venture as long as we don't disgrace ourselves. I think we'll be in a tough group. I think we'll probably be a third seed. It's Cork just puts the wide. I think we'll be a third seed, so I think it's going to be a tough draw for us. Um, so I think we're going to have to just try and try and get out of the group, if not going to the Europa League and hopefully have a stint in there, but like I say for me it's paramount that we can try and find um, for, fourth or third in the league again I don't think we've got a league title in us I don't. I think at the end of last season it proved that we literally are a bottle job we literally bottle everything up so um, over ambitious expectations don't expect them this year <laughs> I'm going to change both of our wings, I'm going to bring on Sisto and Payet for Lozano and Morales because they've really not offered us anything yet this game so See if these guys we don't actually play that well, so I'm gonna quickly my team talk. I'm gonna say assertively I'm gonna demand more. See if that does anything to the cause. Just seems like it could swans in more fire. <laughs> we have been second best in this game, which is a little bit concerning, but what an awful live come. I can only apologise for how bored the boys have been. A terrible game of football. Absolutely so awful. I think Sanchez probably will get mal on match on his debut. But I mean, I don't know what that says. We didn't create any chances. How disappointing. I'm really disappointed with this result. I hope we get off to a start with a win. But I suppose a point's a point. Um, but there you go. Swansea nil, Everton nil.
that is the opening game of the season. Uh, I will send for please, because I'm not happy with that. Um, I haven't actually looked at the fixtures, so I'm going to have to do this now. Oh, this is, um, I think this is Terry Connor joining as a coach. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of stuff. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to say we, we'll come back for this game. Yeah, we'll come back for the game in the middle of September. The Champions League group stage game. will be the second game. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, rate it to your friends on social media, and come back for the game in the Champions League against Question Mark.